Hey everybody, it is Spring Boy Trap, and welcome back to another video. Uh, this, this video is just gonna be, uh, me just showing you, um, my loadouts for Team Fortress 2. Uh, man, I mean, it's just, this video is just gonna be for fun, there's me discussing my loadouts and why I love to use weapons I use. Uh, like I said, it's just for fun. Uh, also, I wouldn't upload normal Team Fortress 2 gameplay, uh, but I prefer not to do that right now till the box problem is, uh, somewhat solved because I don't actually know how to edit. I'm sure you guys can see from some of my videos, but, uh, and I don't feel like editing out all the bots or because I don't know how. So, I might just want to wait till the bots are gone if I'm actually gonna, you know, try and show Team Fortress 2. Maybe I'll, you know, play MVM on here or something, but, uh. This video is just going to be me showing you guys, uh, my loadouts and, uh, the reason why, I, like I said, it's just for fun. Um, although, there is one video I was thinking of uploading, though, though I don't know if I should upload it or not, because, I, I mean, I have to look through it. Uh, it's basically, uh, me joining a server on, I think, Double Cross and, uh, fighting bots with my team. Uh, it was just a team of players versus a team of bots, or also known as Festive Hitman. It was when I first joined the game, and uh, we actually won against the bots, or I think, yeah. But uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments, although I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload it, because I, I mean, I have to go through, I don't know, you know, what, what, like, what they were saying at the time in the chat, and I don't know if it was anything offensive or not, so if you guys want to possibly see that, let me know in the comments. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna get started here, uh, like I said, this video is just for fun, again, uh, and let me know, uh, also in the comments, uh, what loadout you guys like to use, and, why, I guess, I, I don't know, I, I just, I would, I would love to upload TF2 gameplay, but I don't want, like, bots to ruin it, so, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, Scout, you might have already seen from, uh, two videos ago, uh, this is my Scout loadout. So, first of all, I know it's these are Halloween restricted, but I find it kind of funny. A, a little bit, okay? Uh, then I also have the hat here, the hat out of hell, and uh, the batter's beak, and the corpse carrier. So, and uh, I use the shortstop, uh, the, the winger, and the atomizer. The winger and the atomizer, I love because uh, it gives you more mobility, 15% uh, damage, and then greater ch uh, jump height. Uh, atomizer, you get three double jumps, uh, even though it doesn't do a lot to player damage, but, I, I, I don't know, I just, I just like to have the mobility on scout. Uh, and then the shortstop I use because, uh, like, I don't know, I find it better than the rest of, uh, the guns here, like the scatter gun, just because, like, it's a shorter, um, you know, like, shot, I guess, to where I, like, uh, how do I explain it? I don't know, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just able to hit my shots better, like, than the rest of these. I don't know why, like, when I play with, like, uh, just with any of these, maybe not the soda popper, I don't know, but, like, just the rest of these, like, like, I don't hit my shots as well as I do with the shortstop, which is why I love the shortstop. Although, increases push taken from damage and air blast. Yeah, so... I'm not too sure the stat on it that makes me hit it. I, I think there is a stat that makes it, you know, with a short spread of fire, I think. But, uh, that's my scout here. And, uh, taunts. I got just a Kazaski kick and, uh, uh, an unusual, uh, taunt for square dance. So, uh, next up we have Soldier. Uh, the, he, um, was in my other video for Save Team Fortress 2. Hashtag Save Team Fortress 2. Uh, I, I, I love Trolder. I think, even though I'm not good at it, and you guys did point that out in the comments, uh, <clears throat> I'm drinking apple juice, but, uh, I just love, like, I don't know, I just love being able to, like, jump around with the rocket jumper, even though I'm not great at it, like I said in the comments before, although I have been practicing and using some of your tips. So, thank you all for that. And I just love, like, just being able to try and mark a gardener or, like, stomp on people. Like, just with the base, like, even without the man treads, like, I could use, like, uh, any other of these, like, the Righteous Bison or the Shotgun or the Panic Attack. 
uh, and I would still have a great time, even though I would barely be able to hit anything, and even though these are way better for trolling. Uh, but when I'm not using Trollter, I'm usually going direct hit because, or, uh, Liberty Launcher. And sometimes the Beggar's Bazooka, and then I would just have the Righteous Bison, because the Righteous Bison, even though it's not that great anymore, and a shotgun would be way better, I just love the Righteous Bison. Right, Righteous Bison, sorry. Can't speak today. Uh, and very rarely I will equip the, uh, conch, or, yeah, the conch. So, uh, and then with, uh, my soldier here, I got the hat and a hella again. I don't know, I just think it's a lovely hat. Uh, I actually got the exquisite racks, which surprisingly I got out of an MVM, just a random drop while playing MVM. And, uh, Slitter's sidekick I got here. He's my sidekick while I'm jumping around in the air as Trollder. Uh, taunts, I do have, uh... The puppet here. Uh, you are all weak. You are all bleeders. <laughs> no, not again. Anyway, so for, so for pyro, pyro, I main pyro. If you look at my stats, I I, I like have so much time in pyro. I think pyro is, is probably my favorite class to play. So this is uh. My, uh, first pyro skin, because I actually have three. Uh, this one, I use the flare gun, uh, the flamethrower. I know I said flare gun while pointing at the flamethrower. The flamethrower, the flare gun, and the extinguisher. I usually like to try and combo. I don't know. Like, usually I'll set them on fire and I'll try and combo. Unless I see them all around fire, I'll shoot my flare gun at them. Because it, uh, 100% crits versus burning players. Uh, the extinguisher, like... Okay, this goes for almost all my classes, except Spy. Like, I rarely ever use their melee, or, you know, Trojo as well. But, uh... I rarely ever use their or their melee attacks. Like, very rarely will I use it in combat. But I just find it to be, you know, what these weapons better than their melees. But, uh... Anytime I see a, a player on fire and they're close enough to where I could use the extinguisher, I would. Uh, and then, uh, here's my second one, this one, uh, I have Flog, Scorch Shot, this is like the annoying bio, you know, with Flog and the Scorch Shot, kind of, people say it's a little bit annoying, but, and the Back Scratcher just for no reason, because, uh, I mean, I guess I could also use some of these here, and here is my, uh, Friendly Pyro, uh, usually I'll have a Friendly, you know, usually when I go Friendly, I would usually go with this Pyro here, he just, someone looks Friendly. Uh, this time I have the detonator instead, although I would usually switch out for something else. Instead of the extinguisher, uh, I would either have the hot hand, uh, extinguisher, uh, sometimes, or the home wrecker. So, that's my power, and, uh, for this one here, I use not a gibbous. That's what I call my, uh, gibbous. It's not a gibbous. Uh, the f I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna mess this up. Uh, the, the light bulb head. I'm gonna call it that. Oh yeah, I do use the light bulb head here. Here, I use uh, the light bulb head again, light bulb head again, and then the f uh, burning beanie to make it look like, like the light bulb's kind of on like fire or something like that. I don't know. And then here, I use the mask of shame, which I did also rename, and then ground attack, which I also renamed to get this sort of like, I don't know, because you could see the little... Uh, what do you call it? Gas mask. I know it's a gas mask, but what, what, like, would this just be part of the gas mask? Like here, like little tube you breathe out of. Hey, yeah, you would see it coming out of here. It looks like an elephant a little bit. So here, demo man. Uh, so here's my uh whole demo man loadout. I use the stra a strange uh blast blocker. Uh, the tube tunic, and the Scotsman's stovepipe. So, uh, and then here I use the grenade launcher, the, uh, Scottish resistance, and, uh, the Ula pool caber. So, the grenade launcher I mostly use instead of the rest of the grenade launchers, unless I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm going demo night. But, uh, either that would be the loose cannon, but I would keep hurting myself with the loose cannon. I think you could do that. Uh, grenade launcher, uh... I know, I can, like, sometimes I'll just hit my shots, like, I mostly rely on splash damage, though. I'm not, I'm not the best demo man. Uh, 
though with the Scottish resistance though, uh, and I could use like any of these here. I got a strange gold bot killer launcher and you know the quickie bounce. Like I could use any of these maybe except for the stip sticky jumper, but uh usually on like uh what map was it? I think turbine, yeah. I would just uh go near our intelligence, I would set up a trap and you know, instead of just, you know, spamming it everywhere. I'd actually set up a trap and I would wait for people to come past and I would blow them up. And I would have multiple traps with the Scottish resistance to be able to hurt, you know, multiple people or in case, you know, I need a backup trap. Heavy. Heavy, uh, this is my heavy here. I love the Tomislav. I think it's just, you know, nice, you know, and, you know, with the more accuracy and the faster spam time. Yes, slower firing speed, but I could usually get past that. Uh, either that or I'd use, uh, one of these two mini guns, The bot killer or the normal mini gun. Uh, very rarely will I use the brass piece, and that's really all the mini guns I use. Now, I... I love the sandwich, but, with well, the sandwich, I'm sorry, I'd rather a shotgun over the sandwich, and the reason for that is because, like, let's just say I'm on the point, and I, you know, blasting everybody with the minigun, but I run out of ammo, I need to get to an ammo pack quickly, and I've had, had, the, I've had this happen to me before, or a dispenser, so, I've, to get to one of those, I may need a backup, uh, damage the other, because I'm out of ammo with my minigun. So, it's just nice to have a shotgun, just to be able to do that extra damage to try and make sure no one kills you while you're trying to find a, um, ammo pack. And I know, like, you know, those situations aren't, you know, too common, because people would either just get the, you know, ammo off of dead people or... It'd be near an ammo pack or a dispenser, but I just, I just would rather have a shotgun over the sandwich, because plus, I, like, if, let's just say I'm standing still eating my sandwich, I'll just get stabbed or shot at, and, you know. Uh, sometimes I'll use the buffalo steak sandwich, uh, on medieval maps, uh, with the next one here with our melee is, uh, I'd use it with the killing box, the, the killing gloves of boxing, uh, but other than that, uh, I usually use either the Fist of Steel or the Gloves of Running Urgency. Because, I, like, heavy, heavy needs a boost. boost. Like, you, you have to either have a soldier there or you just gotta try and just run your way there. Like, I'm not saying, you know, he needs it in the next update, but I'm just saying, like, you really gotta get, you know, some speed getting to the battlefield. And plus, like, usually I would have it out and I would put it away to regain my health. And I guess you could also do the same with this, although, yeah, it's not as fast, although I guess these aren't too bad. But, yeah, I would usually use the gloves of running urgency or the fist of steel. And then, uh, for my cosmetics, I just have one. One is all you need. It's a tiny bird, adorable, crafted by, I crafted this, by the way. Uh, the Red Army Robin. Like, I mean, just, just, just look at him. Look at him right there. That that's a that's all you need as a cosmetic engineer. This is good. This is gonna be a pot. Like many people use this. Yes. I, uh, don't worry about my renames here. I had a whole bunch of just name tags, so I just renamed everything. But uh, like this this one's a common. Like you get the. You, this is a good defense ng. Not a wrangler. Not a rescue ra or yeah. I'll just call them by their real names. You got the wrangler, the rescue ranger, and the jag. And, uh, my only cosmetic is the Gibbous, even though I am not a freak to play. I have spent a lot of money on this game. Not, it's not great. So, like, I, like, even though this is mostly a defense, uh, loadout, like, I will use this for offense as well. Like, even, like, I'm sure for offense, the Frontier Justice or, uh, the Panic Attack or the Widowmaker would be better, or just all these in general. But, uh, I love to use the, rain, the uh, Rescue Ranger even when on offense as well. And yes, I do play Battle NG with the Gunslinger, but even then, like, when I'm playing Battle NG and I'm going and trying to kill everybody, like, I usually, you know, you really don't need, you really don't need the Gunslinger. I may have just said Wrangler before, but, uh, you really don't need the Gunslinger, okay? Like, you could play Balanger with any, like, I feel like you just play with any of these weapons here. Like, you could have the Frontier Justice with, like, the Jag. And I love the Jag, by the way. Like, just the faster construction time is just 
way better. But, uh, before I get to that, uh, like, you could just use the Frontier Justice, like, with the Jag, and you could still be ba a battle NG. Uh, Wrangler, I just, by the way, that's my chair making noise. Uh, Wrangler, I, um, I just love the Wrangler. It just helps me keep my sentry alive to make sure, you know, like, if I'm on defense, make sure it stays alive to defend the point. A uh, pistol I will sometimes use, short, short circuit, I will rarely use, like, Alt fire, you know, crosses no reload necessary, but you know, it uses metal. And if I'm using like the Widowmaker, which I rarely do, but like I'm not gonna want to use uh, the short circuit. Uh, the Jag, I love the Jag, like I said, it helps me get up like a def defense or an offense pretty quickly. Uh, you know, getting up my teleporters and my uh, dispenser up for everybody. So, last three here, we have our supports, Medic. Now, I am kind of a Star Wars fan, not gonna lie. So, when I got these out of the cosmetics here, uh, I was a little bit happy because, uh, like I said, I'm kind of a Star Wars fan besides Five Nights at Freddy's and, you know, Team Fortress 2. And, like, I, I, like, I, I, like, basically I'm a Snowtrooper now. And no, I'm not going to say Stormtrooper, because I'd rather say Snowtrooper, because that's what it more looks like. So, I got the Cold Front Commander here, and then a uh, Strange of the Second Hand Cold Front, Cold Front Cap, or Cat. It's it's basically an armor plate. I, I, I'm not going to try with some of these names. So here, I have the Syringe Gun for my weapons. I think is a little bit underrated. The, syr the syringe gun, like, I, I know the crossbow is, like, you know, the meta and same with the blue soccer, but I think the syringe gun is just, like, it's just really good. Like, I don't know, I just find it to be really helpful sometimes, and yes, I do use the blue soccer. I would use the crossbow if I could hit things, and I rarely use the overdose. But, I just think the syringe gun is, like, very good. Uh, quick fix. Quick fix I use, or the Medigun, like, I don't use the Chris Creek that much, uh, I'd rather just be able to heal my teammates and have them, you know, you know, more resistance or, you know, ubered. So here, i rather use the Quick Fix a little bit, just cause it gets, uh, gets uber up faster, and, uh, even though I'm not immune, like, an uber charge for the Medigun, uh, i rather be able to not you know, have to worry about an air blast pyro that much. Uh, the vaccinator here, I sometimes use. Uh, it's not too bad, although I'm not very great with it, but. And then I use the amputator here. No, sometimes I, no, I do use the ubersaw. Sometimes I use the ubersaw, but I'd rather use the amputator or. or actually, some, uh, sometimes I also use the, uh, this one, the solemn vow. But not as much as uh, the Amputator. I find the Amputator, even though it's a 20% uh, damage penalty. Like, when I'm running away, I get, you know, 3 extra health and it has saved me before. And, I mean, the alt fire isn't too bad. But, uh, I'd just rather, even though, like, the Ubisoft would probably be better. Uh, but, also as well, I don't use melees that much. So, and it, it just, it's just what works for me. So, we got two more classes. Sniper. I use the classic. Uh, I'm gonna do with the weapons first. Uh, I use the classic. I love the classic. I also love the huntsman as well. Those two, the huntsman, uh, and the classic, more so the classic, are, uh, my favorite weapons for sniper. I'm not very good with, uh, the normal sniper rifle, and I've tried to use the bizarre bargain. Sometimes works. And the rest, I mean, I can't really use the hitman's, the hitman's heat maker or the mock. The, I mean, maybe the Machina, but, uh, with the bots going on now, I don't want to actually be kicked from a server. Like, I just love to not be kicked. Uh, SMG, uh, a little bit, uh, underrated. I may have just said, I... Hold on, I'm trying to think now. Did I... Because now I don't even remember. Uh, did I say the syringe gun was... Un the syringe gun's underrated. I don't know if I said overrated or not. I'll have to go back and check. Uh, I'll leave a comment if uh, I did or didn't. Uh, the syringe gun is underrated. Uh, same with the SMG, though. The SMG, 
and the like both SMGs are kind of underrated uh compared to like the Jurati and the Razorback and whatnot. I mean maybe not the normal SMG, but at least the clean the cleaners carbine like they're, they're just a little bit underrated, because they're good, like, it's the same with heavy. Like, they're good, uh, damage dealers if I'm either out of ammo, or if I have to get out of a situation. Or if I'm chasing, you know, that one spy that just failed to kill me. Uh, melee, I don't use that much, like, uh, it would, it's this one I use, I'm not, the tribal men's shiv. I, I may have gotten that, I'm not sure. Uh, and then here, I got an unusual, uh, puffy polar cap, or I do have a strange one if I don't really want the unusual effect. And then I have this one here, the two womb, uh, tunic? I don't know if that's correct what I'm saying, but, uh, yeah, that, like, I, I, I use these for my sniper. Now, spy, last one, uh, spy, I'm not a very good spy main, uh, so... I don't play him that much. I mean, sometimes I play him just to, you know, joke around, because with my taunts, I have the box trot. So I sometimes just walk around as a box. But, uh, here I have... I didn't even realize this. This has a style. Flash. Glow. I don't know what the glow does. I didn't realize this here had a style. Oh, wait a minute. No. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so I have this here. I know these don't go well together because this is Christmas, this is Halloween. But uh, I have the mask here. Uh, the. I'm not even going to try and say this, by the way. The, but the Gruesome Gourd? I think that's the name. I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just picked some random cosmetics for Spy. Uh, Spy, I like the diamond back, uh, even though it's a little bit overpowered. Uh, cause, you know, the crit comes out of nowhere, although even then, with the crit, like, I have to actually be able to aim it. Sometimes I'll just miss the crit, and I have to run away because I just reveal myself to the enemy team. Uh, knife, I think the, this knife here is, uh, the best out of all the knives, like, maybe not, I don't know, some people might disagree and say the kunai is the best. By the way, you can have your opinions in the comments, just don't be mean about it. <laughs> like, this is just my opinions on which ones I like the most. And I think the knife is best. Like, there's, like it, you don't need any gimmicks. Like, no different, like, sort of, like, you know, disabilities or gains. Like, like you just need a good knife to stab some backs with. Uh, I usually use either the Invis Watch or the Cloak and Dagger. The Dead Ringer, uh, I, like, I'm not going to say the Dead Ringer is bad or anything. It's just, you know, like, when I Dead Ring, I have to try and run away. And usually people will know. Uh, the Cloak and Dagger, though, I get the, um, and it's almost like, you know, it's, I'm trying to think. Like, the Cloak and Dagger, I just get to, like, sit to wait till, uh, and I don't sit for too long, by the way. I'm not just gonna sit there and just wait, like, throughout the whole match and just, like, corner. Like, I usually try and, you know, sneak around with it, uh, because crouching, I think, makes it, uh, to where it will drain less. Because, you know, you're not moving as fast. Or, you know, you got the Invisible Watch, which, you know, is able to, you know, just, I mean, it's it able to pick up ammo packs to recharge it, but, uh, so yeah, I used both watches. Uh, Red Tape Recorder now. I know a lot of people don't like the Red Tape Recorder. I know it's not a, as good as a weapon, uh, as I'm about to say it is, but the Sapper, I feel like, so, let's just say you got the engineer here, and you gotta sap it. You know, usually spy mains would just stab the engineer, quickly sap it. But, I'm not a spy main. So, I would rather just decloak, I would rather sap the sentry, and hope it goes down the levels, even if I die. Because, let's just say I have my sapper on it, and the engineer kills me instantly. Or, you know, is able to kill me in a good amount of time. Like, he'll just get rid of the sapper, and he'll just refix that, uh, that, um, his sentry. With the red tape recorder, on the other hand, let's just say I'm playing on defense, uh, and I'm on the offense of the payload, like, if we're playing on payload, uh, and I'm on blue team, I have to go, there's a red sentry there, uh, I'd rather have my team deal with a, uh, level 1 sentry or level 2 than a level 3, although, rather it be level 1. Because, when I play Spy, I, like, when, and I tried to sap stuff, I wanted to help my team to get, you know, to win. So, 
yeah, I'd rather them want to deal with a level 1 sentry than level 3. Plus, it's also to annoy the engineers a little bit, because it's a little bit funny. But, uh, yeah, that's why I love the red tape recorder. And I think that's it. Uh, this video went a little bit longer than I thought, but, uh, yeah, uh, I'll probably upload some sort of TF2 gameplay, like, maybe once the bots settle, like, are starting to disappear, or if I could find a good game or some sort. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to do this for fun, and I want you guys to let me know in the comments below, uh, what your favorite loadout is, and, uh, you know, your opinions on my loadouts. Uh, and I think that's gonna do it for this video. I mean, I really didn't have much else, uh, to do, because, like I said, I, I, I know I've said it already, but, you know, there's bots everywhere, and, you know, I don't, I can't edit right now, even though I should probably start editing my videos. Uh, I'm gonna stop this right on, uh, 26 minutes. So, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.